Ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to talk about Oldham and more specifically, we're going to talk about the three brand new mounts you can acquire from Oldham in patch 8.3 Visions of Nazoth. But before we get into all of that, I just want to thank today's sponsor of the video. That is my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash MrGM if you want to check it out. Link is in the description below this video. So, in Visions of Nazoth, Veil of the Eternal Blossom and Oldham are both getting minor revamps in the form of assaults. Now, one thing to note with these assaults is that each of the zones has three assaults, which spawns different NPCs, which means some of the NPCs on this list might not be available all the time, and we'll get into that once we get into the list. With Oldham, the assaults look like this. On the left-hand side, you have one called the Akir Unearthed, on the center, you have the Black Empire, and on the right-hand side, you have the Amatha Advance. These rotate every couple of days, and as I said, some of the NPCs might not be available all the time. So, only three mounts available. Unfortunately, there is a few more in Veil of Eternal Blossom. That will be another video coming up real soon, but let's just jump straight into it with the first mount, the Waste Marauder, and this drops from Rotfester, which is a rare Vulture NPC spawned right here on the map, spawned pretty much on the The of the Obelisk of Stars on the map there, and I'll have all the TomTom -tom coordinates in the description below this video as well. So Rotfester is soloable and does only spawn during the Animathet Advance, which is the assault on the right-hand side of the map. So if the map looks like this, then the NPC will be there in some capacity at some time. Time. It isn't the worst mount in the world, the Vulture mounts have been around in the game pretty much since the beginning of BFA. This is the first time we get to ride them, we did get the Albatross mount which does have some scaling issues as well. And uh, But yeah, this is the first time we're going to get a Vulture mount and it looks okay, it's not the worst mount in the world, it's going to be cool, easy to get, not sure on the drop rate unfortunately, but yeah. That's the first one, the Waste Marauder. Next up is one I'm sure everyone's gonna wanna get, and that is the Malevolent Drone. And this drops from Corpse Eater, and if you haven't noticed, this is a re-rigging of the Alliance-only B-mount, but this is for everyone. And there is actually a couple of variants of these coming in 8.3, but this is the one that drops from Corpse Eater. Corpse Eater is located here on the map during the assault Akia Unearthed, so you can only see him during that assault, so make a note, that is the one on the left-hand side right there and it's a pretty darn cool mount as i said it uses the model from the b so it's got all of that cool mount special animations and it's wrongly scaled in the mount journal just like the b really cool looking mount as i said there is a few others but this is definitely the easiest one to acquire all you got to do go in there kill corpse eater and loot the mount not sure on the drop rate but i would imagine it's pretty similar to some of the mechagon rares not too sure on that one unfortunately but definitely a very cool mount and the malevolent drone will be probably a highlight of the Oldham Mounts. And finally, our final mount is the Reigns of the Drake of the Four Winds. Now, yeah, this is pretty cool. Now, the good thing about this guy is that the fact that he is always spawned. He'll be there no matter what invasion is happening in Oldham, he will always be in this location right here, right near the Vortex Pinnacle, on the west dome of the Vortex Pinnacle. You can see it right here on the map, and as I said, the coordinates will be in the description below as well. And this model is not a new model, it's a model that we've seen for the Drake of the North Wind, South Wind, etc. Uh, this colour, however, was a colour that was brought into the game in Cataclysm and not used until now, so that's a pretty long time but it's great to see one of these mounts a little bit more accessible i know the other ones aren't as accessible and as easy to get so this is the drake of the four winds and yeah it just spawns right here you will probably need a group for it unless you're a vengeance demon hunter but yeah it takes a little bit of a group pretty easy to take down just circles around there and uh from my experience on the ptr i had a pretty quick respawn timer as well so that's gonna be really cool to do and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun so that's pretty much it guys do let me know down below what you think of these mounts me personally that b remodel is definitely on the top of my list but it's gonna be a definite pain having to wait for these assaults to happen so we can start farming some of the npcs for the mounts but but hopefully the drop rate isn't too low that we're doing it all the way into shadowlands that'll be a bit of a pain but as i said we will all also have a video on the Veil of the Eternal Blossom mounts uh, as well. There's four of those, so keep an eye out for that, guys. Do press subscribe on the channel if you haven't already. And before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys. And as I said, please do subscribe to the channel for 8.3 videos coming up. 8.3 launching January 14th in the US. Really looking forward to that. It's going to be a good 2020 for sure. And as I said as well, also been streaming 
streaming on twitch.tv slash MrJam if you do want to check me out on stream. Streaming the PTR, streaming retail, streaming classics, streaming some World of Warcraft over on twitch.tv slash MrJam. So with that, guys, I'll see you next time.